be here in the construction zone that will soon be Life Kitchen with co-founder Mike Donahue and DJ Mitchell, who's going to be uh, wrangling Colorado stores. Um, so Life Kitchen, as a physical location, what are you trying to do that's environmentally responsible that maybe is unique? When we looked at how we build uh, this restaurant and this concept, we said there'll be no compromises in the quality of the food and the ingredients. You know, compromises in our purchasing standards and some of those things. We said the same for our environmental awareness. Once again, having a lot of experience in this area and what was important to consumers. So everything we did as we built this restaurant, we looked at it in a way of how can we make a business decision that is socially responsible, sustainable, and an environmentally better. And we had in our constitution internally, if we have to pay a little more, we will. So let me ask about that because you must have tons of investors. You're trying to have 200 stores right. over the next 500 years. Do your, did your investors invest because of that kind of ethos? That sounds like kind of yes. you know, unusual. The vision was understood from Jump Street. They get it. It'll be more expensive sometimes. Sometimes they it'll like be more that. expensive. And they said yes. Yeah, okay. But they also, even the supplier said, we get what you're trying to do. We get the difference you're trying to make. So we're getting pricing that's very competitive, even for a startup, as small as we are, because they want to kind of participate in the movement. This is a campaign with no election date, and it's the way everybody's going so a little bit. So what did we do? I like that you said a small startup, because so your background, you came from McDonald's. Right. McDonald's, you um, actually view this as a small startup. From the natural products yeah. world, we view this as a huge right. beacon, of, <laughs> beacon of hope. Right. Um, but it's small in the sense that, um, you know, you're trying, you're not just... Well, it's going to be large, hopefully, in the sense that it's a manifestation of the national right. movement, right. food movement. Right. right. Yeah. Well said. And Thanks. the other part of what you <laughs> said exactly. is... Apparently, I'm applying for a PR job now. <laughs> there's, there's a reason why some have not been successful. Because they try to do it all. And they don't get the economies of scale. And they go out there. And you can't make the unit economic model work. You and I would love... Now you're sounding like a businessman. Yeah, so you got to keep it affordable too. You got to keep it affordable, but you yeah. do that with the quality of the team and the people and the standards that you demand from your people. So let's start from the beginning. Anything recycled, anything reusable, um, LEED certified, um, we said this is a must. You know, where we could, in many places we don't own the uh, building, so we can only demand so much. So you tear down the building, then build a LEED certified. Inside as much as you yeah, can. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, inside, yeah. we tear down the inside. So the wood is uh, either recycled wood. Stanford, first place we built the restaurant. It was from the old uh, San Francisco, uh, our wood and our community tables. The wood was from the old bleachers of San Francisco Stadium. Wow. We have on... What, candlestick you made? Or? No, there was an old San Francisco Stadium even before that. Oh. We have a symbolic one in every restaurant now. Um, wow. the, the, the surfaces and the flooring was a renewable resource bamboo because we knew we could get it. The wine bottles... Um, we have no wine bottles. We initially started with no bottles at all um, so that we could keep that out of the solid waste stream. We take two to three tons of solid waste out because we have wine on tap. Very important to us. We so it's in a big keg. It's in a of, keg that uh, they bring it in. Yeah. Right. Small kegs, actually. But yes. Small keg. All right. So we have seven different wines on tap. Yeah, you can't have big kegs with wine. It exactly. still be dainty. Don't want to fancy. Don't want to put that picture out there. Right. So Back to the wood real quick. And, you know, in Park Meadows, uh, oh, yeah. in our first Beetle restaurant Kill. in Colorado, we... we took beetle kill from the Colorado mountains and used it for the facade and made a community table. Out of awesome. It as well. Yeah. It's and that's super eco because that's dead wood. Like bamboo is a right. little bit of a pet peeve with me because it's definitely an eco material, but often it comes from like China. China doesn't really care where it's being uh, cut and you have to finish it and glue it to make it a smooth, smooth surface. surface. Yeah. But it's so this, then it led into the equipment for the restaurant. And when our chefs and famous chefs came in and they saw what we were able to get, they were jealous. They hadn't seen things like that. We believe in all the way from the big level to the small level. The cheese melter in our restaurant is a new eco cheese melter that it only works if you put a plate on it. Uh -huh. So it only works if it's weight. We have a so you mean it's off all the time. It's off all the time unless there's and a lot of the other. If I were in that kitchen, it would be on all the time because I'd be putting <laughs> in nachos and you know. Uh, we have uh, vegan cheese. So then the um, other items that we would do is we made sure that uh, we went out and found the latest. And there's a, a group called Delos. It's well certified. And this is the buildings of the future. They're doing it in hotels. And they hadn't started in any restaurants. And what this is, is they look at the environmental impacts of every single building. Air, water, 
surfaces, um, anything that you come in touch with, and they work on ways to purify it and to make it better, healthy buildings. They're it's like good. wellness military, air, water, yeah. surface. <laughs> so to, to, to that point, I mean, and, and a goal reducing the amount of chemicals that we use in the restaurant, our sanitizers are actually, uh, it's bottles of water that it goes through an ionization process. It's just ionized water, which is a sanitizer, instead of using a wow. chemical sanitizer. Wow. No so chemicals, breaks down the surface the same way the chemicals. So this is a huge thing. We actually used to be a national print magazine before we went online, and mm -hmm. one of our covers was devoted to how chemicals don't clean. They're actually pretty bad for us. And uh, there's so many times in Boulder where I'm drinking like my organic, like, locally roasted coffee and having my little organic muffin and they come up with like Windex and yes. spray like right. my muffin and walk on. And you're just... It's the next big environmental issue. People, you'll hear the environmentalists talk about endocrine disruptors. Mm -hmm. The cumulative effect of what goes on your furniture, your counters, your carpeting and everything else are chemicals and there's ways to get around that. We want to be on the cutting edge. Symbolism. We found uh, a gentleman in Southern California that is a tree rescuer. Mm -hmm. I love having a tree rescuer on our team. I just love hearing you talk about tree rescuing. This guy goes to around to construction sites, finds big, huge sequoia trees that would have been ground up, pulverized, whatever, wow. and he makes our community tables out of those. Wow. So we have a Could rescue. Could you put one aside for me? That yeah. would be cool. It'll be your size. Take wow. the, uh, be yeah. uh, Wayland size. Yeah. But it, it's, it's that important to us that we make wow. those decisions. Yeah, good for you. Tree rescuing. Mm -hmm. You know you can't be that, like, you have to be pretty sincere if you're talking about tree rescuing. So, yeah, upholstery is a huge one. That was on the cover of Sunday New York Times. Um, most people don't realize that they go buy a beautiful couch. It's full of, like, a ton of chemicals that you're lying on all the time, or your bed, your mattress, mm -hmm. that are really bad for you, and particularly for developing children. Um, so it's amazing to see a restaurant address that. And there's uh, the Swell Certified Program has a treatment that they put on the building on the surfaces, on the doors, and they do it every so often, right? Once a year. Once a year, that makes it less, uh, it's antimicrobial. It's antimicrobial coating mm -hmm. that they spray on the floors, tables, chairs, everything. Um, that just doesn't promote uh, the growth of, so you've heard of these products coming out where the, they're made out of materials, literally, that are antimicrobial. No? No. And so this, this surface coating. I'm not coating, that neurotic about so this surface coating Germs. is just to, to be yeah. applied once a year and, and yeah. they come in and it, get, it just takes the levels down. And, and it reminds me of, you down. know, Jack Nicholson and uh, he wants to be a better man. What movie was that? I forgot. Anyway, he like unwraps soap and washes it and throws away and wraps soap. Oh, yeah. Throws yeah. Away. With Helen Hunt. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Um, to his point, to well certified, he had the option to choose not to do that. There's nobody in the restaurant that's really going to know we do all these things, air purification, water purification. It's expensive yeah. to do that. It's, but that's huge. People but, love but the But the water reason he does it yeah. is in the long run, somebody may never know about the, the level of detail we go to, but there's that intangible feeling of you're doing the right thing because it's the right thing to do. And yeah. then they'll feel, and we believe that results in a, a better ROI as a businessman for our investors because we'll have more customers they get it it's comprehensive yeah well and i think like go ahead it's i i, I believe especially in colorado it's it, it speaks to the consumer yeah and, and that piece um it's on us to let the consumer know that it's going on to a certain extent um a lot of the consumers in colorado are so uh educated yep. um in these healthiest kinds of state in the nation right that that they're looking for these things and they'll yeah. find it out they'll find out yeah. on their own um, I think you're I, right. I, I was going to say like Malcolm Gladwell, you know, yeah. like there's always going to be the influencers. They'll research all the stuff online. Exactly. They'll tell their friends and their friends won't be crazy enough to care that much, but they'll care a little. And then you get one. It's the, the halo effect, effect because yeah. people watch you and your show. They'll see that we do all these things. They may not know what they mean, but they know that we subscribe to the same kind of philosophy. But there's a halo effect because of that. Same with environmentalists, same with other groups that say the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, most people just fast forward through our videos and wait for me to do the like gladiator thing at the end of this. All they get, they don't get all these lead PVC words, FSC. So FSC wood, I'm reading this long list of stuff you do. You make wicker on the sofa, it blows me away, is from 90% from milk and juice containers. Yes, recycled. It's amazing. Yeah. We, all of this is on our website, by the way. Right. So people can find out more and, and they can go on Life Kitchen uh, with a, a Y. Love your food every day. And they go on our website and they get all this on our Facebook.
I love it. Yeah. All right, Mike DJ, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, appreciate it. Changing food culture, Life Kitchen. Appreciate it. Otherwise known as when I play Ring Toss. <laughs> <laughs>